Munchies, welcome to the channel. If you're new, I'm Alicia and I am so excited you're here. I have done meal preps from a few different stores in the past and I've gotten so many requests for Target. So here it is. First, this video is not sponsored, but I would love it if it were. Now I will say I don't actually shop at Target for groceries typically. I shop at Target for everything else and I'm all too familiar with the situation where you go into Target for one thing and you leave with $200 worth of stuff that I didn't know I needed but I decided I couldn't live without. Typically, groceries are not those things but if I'm going to a Target and I need a grocery item, I'll get it there for the convenience. For the sake of this video, it is a Target meal prep after all. I wanted to make sure that I could get all of the items at Target or else this wouldn't be very challenging or fun. So everything you will see was from Target other than my pantry items like spices or staples that I already had. I also tried to get a lot of Target brand name items like the Simply Balanced or Market Pantry items to just see how much they really offer. This meal prep is for two people for the week, for weekdays, and it costs probably $75 to $80 to get all of this at Target. So it's not the cheapest meal prep you've ever seen me do, but hey, it's Target. And I find that all of the groceries cost like 20% more than my regular grocery store. Things like organic meat are definitely gonna cost more, but you could do it for less if you weren't as picky on the quality of ingredients as I was, or of course, you could just shop for somewhere else for the groceries. Also, I have to acknowledge that different locations locations carry different items, but online you can see what your store has. For breakfast, I am sharing some macadamia and apricot fig breakfast cookies. And why not make them paleo for a challenge, meaning no oats and no added sugar. In my food processor, I combine a mix of coconut flour and almond flour, almond butter. I do like that the only ingredient in the Simply Balanced Almond Butter is almonds, as well as market pantry apricots, which have no sugar added coconut shreds, which I got from Target, but weren't Target brand, applesauce, eggs, they actually had a good deal on organic eggs, $3.99 a carton, vanilla extract, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. Blend for 30 to 60 seconds until it's a thick, wet dough, and then I add in some chopped dried figs, which were Market Pantry brand, also with no added sugar, and macadamia nuts. Now, macadamias aren't cheap, but Target did sell a small pack, which is all I needed. I pulse to integrate just a couple of times, and then I transfer the dough with a cookie scoop to a cookie sheet and press down slightly to flatten. Into the oven they go until golden. Okay, I gotta say, these somehow taste like oatmeal raisin cookies, even though there are no oats or raisins. They are sweet and salty, but not like dessert. Perfect for breakfast. I also think that these are really great a few days later stored in the fridge. Lunchtime, sometimes I just wanna keep it simple. If I'm short on time, I don't feel like doing a ton of cooking and that's when I turn to sandwiches. I have shown freezer sandwiches in an old meal prep video, but I'm bringing them back new and improved. I'm using this gluten-free bread by Canyon Bakehouse. Target sells it, but I've also seen it at other grocery stores and it's actually a decent gluten-free bread coming from someone who acknowledges that bread without gluten is just not typically something that tastes very good. I have tried most gluten-free breads available and I actually wanted to ask, do you want me to do a video on store-bought gluten-free breads? Like, which are good or bad or healthy or not? Let me know in the comments below. I lay on my bread and assembly line style, layer them up with pesto and mustard, or you could use hummus or another spread, but not everything freezes as well. So be sure to check out my previous video for a list, as well as deli meat of choice. It is hard to find a cleaner one at Target that is affordable, but they do have tons of options that are more processed and then some sliced tomatoes and cheese. Now, typically you don't wanna add produce, especially uncooked to a freezer sandwich, but today we are grilling them up or we are pressing them down, whichever you prefer. If you wanna keep them as is, you can, but skip the tomato. I think the grill marks make these sandwiches look nicer, it makes them taste better, and I could eat them cold or hot and they still have a lot of good flavor after being frozen. You could also store them as is and then save them to grill later. Now, typically I am guilty of using plastic wraps and bags, but I am trying my best to get away from it, partially because I care about the earth and partially because I am sick of holier than thou people commenting on YouTube videos telling me that I am terrible for using plastic, but mostly because I care about the earth. Don't let them have the power. So I found an alternative, two alternatives actually, to share with you. First are these beeswax sheets, which are essentially a plastic wrap alternative that can be washed and reused over and over again for a year. Neat, right? Until someone comments telling me how I'm killing the bees. You cannot win, I swear. 
but really these do rock. These are not sponsored, but I wish they were because dang, these are not cheap. Between the expensive Target groceries and these beeswax things, I am gonna need a sponsored video soon or I'm gonna be out of money. Anyway, these are pretty pricey in my opinion, but I guess they are supposed to last a long time. I will link them on Amazon if you wanna check them out, as well as the second non-plastic option, the silicone sandwich bags. Say what? I think these are more up my alley. They're easier to clean and they can go in the dishwasher too. Okay, back to the food. You can refrigerate the sandwich, pressed or not, as is for two to three days, or you can freeze for a few weeks in your beeswax sheets or your silicone bags, or of course, regular glass or plastic reusable storage containers. But for the love of gluten, please do not use plastic wrap. Seriously though, I do just wanna take a second. I get that plastic is the devil for our planet and I agree that we should all try, but also know that if you are using plastic, I'm not judging you. Do the best you can. Finding alternatives like these expensive sheets is a privilege and anyone who's going around shaming people for using plastic needs to seriously stop and check their privilege card. Oh, she's so sassy today. Please don't thumbs down. Okay, I swear we are actually going to finish this meal now. In addition to sandwiches for lunch, I have got salad and I am meal prepping it as a bulk salad. I'm gonna show you how to keep it fresh. First, I've got a bag of kale that I add to a bowl and a mixed pre-made kale salad. Now I am skipping the dressing mixture because we know that most of the time they are not prime fuel, but for kale, it will last better for meal prep than romaine, and it's nice to have some other colors and textures from the salad mix too. I also add in some cherry tomatoes. I toss the salad together and store it in a large bowl with a paper towel draped on top so the moisture doesn't settle on the leaves, which will help keep it from getting soggy. Cover with plastic wrap or those beeswax thingies and store. Now, to be honest, these wax things aren't holding as well on the bowl. I sort of got it to work by crimping like a wonton around the edges, but I'm probably not gonna be able to keep it like that all week. We'll see. Anyway, now the salad is ready and throughout the week, you can pack your lunch and take what you want. I also got this lemon basil dressing from Target. Now it is hard to find a semi-clean dressing, but this one is good enough. I store it in little containers and also pack some cherries, which are in season and were on sale, as well as some boiled eggs. I just boiled the rest of the eggs from the organic carton. That's lunch. I have my components prepped and then I can just throw it together during the week. It is also nice that if I do end up going out to eat or have a work lunch or something, I can just keep these sandwiches frozen and save them for later and they won't go bad. It's good to meal prep with flexibility in mind. Okay, dinner time, finally. First, I have got some adorable mini personal loaf lasagnas. For the filling, I cook up some diced onion and add my ground beef. I got this organic ground beef at Target and it was actually affordable compared to other options. When it's cooked, I stir in some marinara sauce. This simply balanced one has no added sugar, score, and add salt to taste. Separately, I mix some ricotta, an egg, now get this, cooked cauliflower rice. Say what? This is the Simply Balanced version. The only ingredients are cauliflower and salt, and you are not even gonna know it is mixed into that ricotta mixture. Yay for sneaky veggies. I am also covering it up with some Parmesan, some parsley, and salt and pepper. Okay, we are almost ready to layer, but first, I've gotta handle these oven-ready noodles. How do you get a big noodle to fit into a small dish? Well, you could just take your chances and break them, but often they will shatter. So here's what you do. Soak them in warm water just until they soften enough to cut with shears. About 10 to 15 minutes is plenty. Then you can make them any size you need. Neat! Save the smaller pieces to puzzle together because you totally won't see it by the end of the assembly. Also, as a heads up, these were not gluten-free, but apparently Target does carry a gluten-free variety, but they were out when I went. Figures. Okay, now I can layer in the meat sauce, noodles, ricotta mixture, and a layer of spinach. I was able to get through another layer of the meat sauce, noodles, and ricotta, and then topped it off with more sauce and of course, mozzarella. It doesn't really matter how you layer them as long as you end up with cheese. And I used mini loaves, but you can also use whatever little individual containers you have or make a regular size lasagna. Okay, so you can cover these up and save these for three days in the fridge, or if you need longer for prepping purposes, you can freeze them and then thaw them out the day before you bake. I also prepped some Brussels sprouts in jars so they're ready to just easily roast them up and have as a side to my personal pan lasagna. When you're ready to make, 
dinner, toss the veggies with oil, salt, and pepper, or any seasonings you'd like, and into the oven they go for about 20 minutes with the lasagnas covered in foil, followed by 10 minutes uncovered, and those veggies can just be right there next to them. So easy. And that is a nice, fresh-cooked meal. Meal prepping does not have to taste like leftovers. I teach a lot of these tips, concepts, and hacks in my two courses. One is all about meal prep. It is called Meal Prep Ignite. Info is at mealprepignite.com. And we are about to unveil a new feature that will actually generate your grocery list for you and make meal planning so easy. Check it out. And the other course is all about finding confidence in the kitchen, kitchen confidence. Both are currently closed for enrollment, but I will link them below if you wanna put yourself on the list to be notified about when they open back up again. Okay, I have one more dinner, a slow cooker cilantro lime chicken. I am also prepping this one on Sunday, but I'm going to cook it later in the week for a fresh meal. I am not huge on leftovers, but that doesn't have to stop me from meal prepping. And it doesn't mean that I have to eat the same thing every day. It is all about learning how. Into a freezer safe bag, I add boneless skinless chicken breast. This was the priciest item I got at Target. It's organic, but it was almost $9 a pound. Now, if you don't get organic, it's obviously gonna be more affordable. I also add some bell peppers. Target sells a nice mix, as well as some zucchini red onion, frozen corn and canned black beans, which are other affordable staples from Target, as well as garlic, broth, cilantro, and lime juice, also from Target, cumin, and salt and pepper. The bag gets stored as is for up to three days in the fridge or a month in the freezer. When you want to enjoy, just dump it into the slow cooker and head off to work. Come home to dinner and a delicious smelling house. This recipe is also from my sheet pan and slow cooker ebook. It contains tons of full balanced meal recipes that are great for busy weeknights or meal prepping. I actually explain how to meal prep each meal properly in the book and all of the recipes are gluten-free and dairy-free. Check it out at mindovermunch.com slash ebooks and you can use the code TARGET for 10% off any ebook or package of your choice this week only. For this cilantro lime chicken, you can serve it as is. You have healthy protein, veggies, and carbs in this one meal, but you can also serve it over rice or with tortillas. It's savory and filling, and I love that you can just eat it as is and feel satisfied without a ton of other components to prepare. For snacks, in addition to the cherries and boiled eggs from lunch, I got some trail mix and fruit snacks. Now. Target has a huge selection of gorgeous trail mixes, but dang, they are not cheap. This trail mix was about 30% bigger for half the price. Yes, it includes M&Ms. Yes, M&Ms are chocolate. And yes, it is possible to be healthy and still eat M&M trail mix sometimes. You gotta find what works for you. I also got some of these fruit and vegetable snacks from Target, Simply Balanced brand. There is actually no added sugar, so it's all coming from the fruit juice concentrate, which is definitely preferred. And I guess it's a bonus that there are some veggies. Now, does it count as veggies? Mm, no. Does it make me feel better? Yes, that counts, right? And that is my Target meal prep for the week. It wasn't the cheapest, but the point isn't for you to recreate it. It's to give you some inspiration and ideas so you can take what you want and leave what you don't. I am not telling you to shop at Target for groceries, but I am showing you that you can, and you can get a lot of stuff because they do have a variety if you're willing to pay. If you have any other stores that you want me to do a meal prep challenge for, share them in the comments below. And let me know about that gluten-free bread episode too. I appreciate you being here and accepting my sass today. I will see you next week. And remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.